The market is at a critical turning point, with investors closely watching economic signals, interest rate movements, and earnings reports. Tech stocks have been on a roller coaster ride, as AI and quantum computing are becoming major catalysts for the next wave of innovation. Today, we're focusing on two powerhouses shaping the future of quantum computing, Amazon and IBM. Amazon, leveraging its dominance in cloud infrastructure, is expanding its reach into quantum computing with Amazon Breakit and its newly developed Ocelot quantum chip, strategically positioning itself as both a platform provider and an innovator. On the other side, IBM is going all-in, investing billions to build next-gen quantum processors and assembling a global network to accelerate adoption. With both companies making aggressive moves in this space, we'll break down their latest developments, financials, and investment potential. So stay tuned to find out which stock is better positioned for long-term growth. Let's dive in. Stock number one, Amazon. Ticker symbol A-M-Z-N. At first glance, Amazon's quantum ambitions might not be obvious. The company is best known for its dominance in e-commerce, voice assistants like Alexa, and its extensive entertainment catalog. However, the real magic happens behind the scenes, specifically in the cloud. Amazon Web Services, AWS, is Amazon's most profitable division and serves as the infrastructure backbone for countless digital companies. In 2019, AWS quietly launched Amazon Breakit, a service designed to let researchers and businesses explore quantum computing through the cloud. Rather than investing in expensive quantum hardware, users can access different types of quantum processors virtually, similar to streaming a show, but for cutting-edge computation. This strategic move allows Amazon to avoid betting on a single quantum approach. Instead, it positions AWS as a platform, providing access to various quantum solutions and monetizing the entire space regardless of which hardware vendor ultimately wins. But Amazon didn't stop there. In February 2025, it introduced its own in-house quantum chip codenamed Ocelot, designed to tackle one of quantum computing's biggest challenges, error correction. Ocelot reportedly reduces the resources needed for quantum error correction by up to 90%, which could accelerate the timeline for practical commercial quantum computing by several years. What makes this even more compelling is Amazon's integration of Breakit with Ocelot by offering cloud-based access to quantum computing alongside its proprietary hardware, Amazon gains greater control over performance costs and data security. It is shifting from merely being a quantum facilitator to becoming an innovator. Additionally, AWS still commands over 30% of the global cloud infrastructure market, meaning Amazon already serves enterprise customers who rely on high-performance computing for artificial intelligence, financial modeling, pharmaceutical simulations, and more, the precise industries where quantum computing is expected to make the biggest impact. From an investor's perspective, Amazon's position is compelling because it doesn't need quantum computing to succeed. The company is already a tech giant. However, if quantum computing does go mainstream, Amazon is strategically placed to be one of the first to profit from it. There are, of course, some caveats. The biggest challenge is timing. Quantum computing is still years away from generating significant revenue. Short-term investors may become impatient, and Amazon's sheer size and diversification mean that even breakthrough innovations in quantum might not immediately affect its overall financials. Still, for long-term investors, Amazon presents one of the most balanced ways to gain exposure to quantum computing without excessive risk. Stock number two, IBM, ticker symbol IBM. IBM is a company that doesn't always get the spotlight in tech circles anymore. Some may consider it old school. However, IBM has quietly become one of the most aggressive players in quantum computing. IBM's quantum journey isn't new. It has been investing in quantum technology for over 20 years. Today, it operates the largest fleet of quantum computers in the world. In April 2025, IBM announced a massive $150 billion investment into U.S.-based innovation, with $30 billion allocated directly to research and development, much of it fueling IBM's quantum ambitions. 
At the core of IBM's quantum efforts are two standout processors. Condor, a quantum processor boasting 1,121 qubits, marking a significant leap in scalability. Heron, although featuring fewer qubits at 133, it delivers five times the performance of previous generations and can execute 5.2 million quantum gate operations, a key indicator of real-world computational power. Beyond building chips, IBM is actively creating a commercial ecosystem through its IBM Quantum Network, which includes more than 250 partners from universities to Fortune 500 firms. This network isn't just about having the technology, it's about preparing businesses and researchers to actually use quantum computing. IBM's Quantum Roadmap Looking ahead, IBM's Quantum Roadmap stretches all the way to 2033 and includes ambitious goals. By 2029, IBM plans to unveil Starling, a chip with 200 qubits, capable of running 100 million gate operations. By 2033, IBM aims to release Blue J, a processor with 2,000 qubits and a staggering 1 billion gate operations. At that scale, quantum computing isn't just powerful, it becomes transformational. Despite IBM's promising technology, the company does face challenges. Its traditional business segments have seen sluggish growth over the past decade, and its stock performance has been relatively underwhelming. However, unlike pure-play quantum startups that rely on external funding, IBM has a cash-generating core business supporting its quantum initiatives internally. This provides financial resilience that smaller competitors lack. For investors looking for direct exposure to hardware-based quantum computing, IBM is one of the most focused and credible bets available. Amazon is leveraging its cloud dominance, offering broad quantum access via BreakIt, while also developing its own Ocelot quantum chip. It is a platform-first approach that minimizes risk and quietly positions Amazon as a future leader in quantum computing. IBM, meanwhile, is going all-in designing and building advanced processors, fostering a global research ecosystem, and setting an aggressive 10-year roadmap. This is a high-conviction, hardware-driven strategy aimed at building quantum computing from the ground up. Quick financial comparison. Metric Amazon Amzian IBM IBM. Stock price $188, $253. Market cap $2 trillion, $235 billion. Revenue $638 billion, $63 billion. Gross margin 49%, 56%. Earnings per share $6.13, $5.81. Interestingly, while Amazon is larger in scale, IBM edges out Amazon in gross margin and generates comparable earnings per share, despite operating on a much smaller revenue base. Amazon is the tech titan with reach, scale, and quantum computing layered into its empire. IBM, on the other hand, is leaner, more focused, and efficient, turning fewer dollars into solid returns. Two very different profiles, but both are quietly shaping the future of quantum computing.